What do you have to say to my viewers? Uh, this is my son, and I love him very much. Happy Thanksgiving, and a uh, whoa, it is spicy Friday. That was my mom to open up with. If ever there was a week for family, this is it. Hope you enjoyed more from her in just a minute. Got a good one for you. It's spicy Friday. If you've never seen one of these, it's a roundup from around the web of all of my favorites. Some of these y'all have sent me, some I found out from around the web. I've saved. I don't think it's my favorite. I think it's just the one that makes me go, whoo, whoo, ha, whoo, whoo, <laughs> to the very end. Let me know down below what your favorite one is. Buckle up, here we go. Hey, today's episode is brought to you by you people. Thank you for every thumbs up. No advertiser today. Just want to say thank you to all of y'all. It's been a great year. And we got more to go, of course, in December. But it's been a lot of fun. I want to say a big thank you to each of you people. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> I'm not refilming. We're doing this. All right, again, family time. How about some more of my mother? Here we go. This is my mother, Pam. Pam, what do you have to say to these people? Hello. <laughs> uh, tell me about your favorite person. We're going to talk about your favorite people today. Let's do them one at a time. What, we'll do one word. One word answer. Nancy Pelosi. Oh, my goodness. That was a lot of words, but it'll count. Joe Biden. Ooh, no. How about Ted Cruz? Ted Cruz. Refresh my memory. <laughs> <laughs> how about how about uh, the former president, Donald J. Trump? Oh, he was the best president. I wish that he could be president again. John F. Kennedy. You know, I don't think I was into politics at that time. Jackie O. I loved her. I loved her style. Princess Di. I like her. I felt sorry for her, though. Michelle Obama. Nuh-uh. No. What do you have to say to these people? Oh, I'm just so glad that you enjoy my son. He's one. He is wonderful. He's been the best young man and little boy. Well, his little boy, he was, he was uh, busy. He was a busy boy. Tell me about Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all these people. Oh, what are we going to yes. eat? Happy Thanksgiving. We're going to have turkey and we're going to have a meatloaf because everybody likes meatloaf. And then we have a million vegetables and what else? Just uh, lots of vegetables. All right. Wave it out. <laughs> all right. Hope you enjoyed that. I think she needs her own reality series. A lot going on right now. And I think Fridays are a nice break from all of it. And we are jumping right into it. Buckle up. Here we go. Next. Merritt says, honestly, if scammers toned it down a little, they could totally get me. Like, I've won a million dollars. Nah, scam. I've won a pizza. Yes. Here is my social security number. Take it. I want pizza. <laughs> Wear food. <laughs> Next. I made this one. If Caltech made cars. Posted on Instagram, and of course the guy started typing. Well, actually, you know, I've had I've put forty rounds through it, and it, it works great. Well, it's eighty percent plastic. Sorry. Next, how dudes who ask if you're <clears throat> eat their Thanksgiving dinner. Next, from DC Drano, Pelosi. We need higher taxes. Sea levels are rising. Defund the popo. Strict laws, red states are backwards, DeSantis is bad. Also, Pelosi buys Oceanside Mansion in Florida. True story. I think, you know that rumor that came out uh, about a month ago, and you heard it here first, that she was going to retire soon? And the, the, the her, she bought a house like two weeks later out of state. So I think that's interesting. A little bit of credence. Next. Me being craned away from the Thanksgiving table after smashing my fourth plate of mashed taters. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm full. I found the food. Next. This is Doug, and he is a wild, wild man. Next. The wife sent me to Walmart for ice. I snuck over to McDonald's. Heck yeah, Doug. You get him, bro. Get him. Live your best life now, bro. Get it, Doug. Next. Robert Kraft, chairman and CEO of New England Patriots. Google, massage spa near me. Drama Llama, go! Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here.
<laughs> All right, next. Paige says, my mom just sent me this of my dad. Mobile users, I know you can't see that, but he is in the frozen Hispanic section. <laughs> Look at that face. Next. Link says, I just want to be rich enough that I don't get angry at beef jerky prices anymore. Somebody asked me what I wanted one time, and I used to say this, but now I think it's ugly, but I always want to have enough money to turn the water hose onto the Jehovah's Wickedness whenever they stop by. I don't say that anymore. I just said it, but I say that as comedy, but uh, I think that's ugly talk, so I don't say that anymore, but I used to. That's how rich I want to be. Next, Jonathan says, I don't know who needs to hear this, but if the house is 73 and you want it to be 68, turning down the thermostat to 60 doesn't get you to 68 any quicker. And by I don't know who I mean, my wife, but I can't tell her because she's pregnant and scares me. Some of y'all identify with that. Next. One of y'all sent this to me. Not bad. Train like you fight, baby. Train like you fight. Not bad. Next. This is from last week's video. No, this is from the TGC video. TGC did a, uh, an interview with me uh, earlier this week. 20 questions with Johnny B. And we had fun. It was a lot of fun. One of the responses to it was from Scott. Next. Johnny B is one of the most annoying people I've ever had the misfortune of seeing on YouTube. Just can't find anything amusing or entertaining about him. Me. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Next, I made this one up. Black Rifle Coffee and NRA now racing to exploit Wisconsin teenager. How fast? NRA is going to win that one. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whose booth he is. It doesn't mean he's a sellout. It doesn't mean the kid's a sellout. But they're, they will pay. You will pay to get him in your booth at shot. We'll see. Would I sell out for that much money? Absolutely. Next. Mike Prima Awesome says this. Very excited for this hide my fat weather. <laughs> Big coats. Next, also from Mike. I didn't do laundry, so I'm out of clean underwear. So I went commando, so now my junk feels like a dog trying, trying to stand up in the back of a van. <laughs> ah, next, oh geez, Louise from Grand Old Memes. Oh, that's some spice right there. I know some of y'all like are employed because you're conservatives and you don't know what all that's about, but let me just tell you, that's, a, that's not just salt, that's all the spices. Next. G Lane, watching the entire left support pedo Joseph Rosen. Mm, I'm so happy. Yeah, her trial is, is underway. Ooh. She's very thankful that the entire left supports pedos. Mm. Spicy week. Next, it's from Grand Old Meme. Some of y'all saw that picture and I saw this. I go, hey, there it is. Oh, wait, who has been Photoshopping in here? If you're on mobile, I know it's small, but they got that picture of Kim Jong, whatever, and, and T-Man and up in the back, and somebody put a skateboard in there. They were shredding down those stairs and then put one on the table there. It's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Next, let's go to the B. Mark Ruffalo donates $50 million to found Joseph Rosen Elementary School. I'm slow sometimes. I was, it was early in the morning like 11, <laughs> I was scrolling through and I saw that on the B and I went, why, why an elementary school? Oh, ho, 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 Next. <laughs> and the Sandman agreed to share joint custody of CNN. They own them. Next. Maria Shriver says, I'm trying to take a beat to digest the her verdict. My son just asked me how it's possible that he didn't get charged for anything. How is that possible? I don't have an answer for him. Don Jr. says, now do Ted Kennedy. Wrong decade, but I like it. Let's talk about Christopher Walken and that boat. Ooh, mm. next. Select all the squares with innocent people. Woo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo. Next, me getting ready to hurt someone's feelings at Thanksgiving dinner after my liberal aunt says she feel bad 
feels bad for Kyle's victims. Get it, girl. And my pick for who of the week, let me know right down below what your pick is. Whew. Next.